Billy, let's bring in our next guest, Denise Lanier. Denise, how's it going? That's good. Good to see you again, Denise, Sean. Hi. Denise, you're the backpack girl. I'm the one woman adventure. Exactly. Meet Joan Govea. Hi, Joan. Nice to meet you. Now, uh, nice you're you. the one, man, one, one woman adventure? We're Don't put that on OK, Cupid. <laughs> <laughs> right? No. right? We're actually uh, creating a program, a 10-episode program with Valley Public Television or Valley PBS on uh, backpacking and hiking, how to do it safely. And where can you go here in the Central Valley? As you know, we're surrounded by world-class uh, national parks all around here. But most most people here in Central Valley don't leave Fresno or don't leave where down here in the valley. But you just hop on 41 and you can't get lost. Just You end in Yosemite. So why not head up there for a day hike? Which is, I think we'll talk about that today. Just People tend to think, well, summer's over. I'm going to put everything away. Well, no. Fall is one of the best times to go hiking. And, and, and you talk about going up 41, but really, uh, if, if you started in Fresno, 15, 20 minutes, you could really be doing some, some hiking. It wouldn't be too treacherous, but it'd be fun. Exactly. You can go up to, let's see, Aubrey, Prather around there. The San Joaquin River Gorge is a great place. To Militant go Lake. Hiking. Militant Lake, right? exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. there. How did you get into hiking? You know, I'd been hiking all my life and with Girl Scouts and church and things and uh, back east in the Appalachian Trail and all around there and moved out to California back in 1991 and just fell in love. How could you not with all the mountains all around here? And, and I, enjoy, I enjoy Fresno, but on a clear day, whenever the smog and dust is blown out of the way, you can see the mountains right there. It's like so calling you up. It is. Come it on, does, backpack exactly. girl, you one-woman <laughs> adventure, you. Okay, so... You, you, you get into the backpacking, but now you're, you're like, well, I want to expose so many more people to this and, and show them how easy it is. Yes. It, it, it's not very expensive a, a sport to get into, and it is kind of a sport. Well, right? you know, it, you can take it to whatever level you want. One of the great things about hiking, it's very low impact, assuming you're not doing some mountain climbing. It's head on up the trail. You can go as fast as you want, as slow as you want. You can stay on steady trails. You can, you can choose. There, we have such a variety of trails all around us here. If Joan or I are walking in the, on a trail, mm -hmm. it's a sport. Okay, <laughs> get it right. <laughs> now, you. now, you've brought some things with you here today. Yes. And are these just necessities or uh, things that you bring out when you're on, when you're on the trail? Whenever I go on a, a day hike, most you've seen people on the trail who will hit the trail with you know, flip-flops and a bottle of water. <laughs> I don't want to see a you out of the trail. Wine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're the ones who are stumbling up the trail <laughs> up there. You know, but whenever you go on a day hike, it's really important to take just the, some essentials. You don't need to buy some really expensive, you know, backpack with all the bells and whistles for a day hike. You can just get this is my little uh, this is a flimsy here. little it thing. It is. You don't need the huge, you know, rough and rugged thing for because a day hike. Because it's not very heavy, right? You don't want to add a lot of weight because think about it. If you're putting it on, you're, it's on you. You're going to carry that up as far as you go. But there are some essentials that should always go in any day pack or if you're going overnight or even in a day hike. Uh, can, do you want to talk about some of yeah, them? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. Because um, I want to go. I want to know what to take. We should go. That'd be awesome sometime. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, well, first of all. Would you take us on a hike sometime? I would love to. You would? I would. Absolutely, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. I am ready. We should do that. Okay. 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 All right. And welcome. Come with us. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, even though you think you're going out for a day, you think, remember the three-hour cruise, Gilligan and the captain, we'll see how that one turned out for They didn't us. come back for a while, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I bet they were wishing they had a few of these essentials here. Um, I always bring a headlamp because... Me, uh, you have your headlamp. I what is this do. for? <laughs> well... <laughs> it's upside down, Chuck. Oh. That's okay. Does, 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 does that matter? <laughs> yeah, well, like, you can turn it around if you want. Or, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Up and down. Oh, okay. oh. Uh, oh. There you go. And, and this is for hiking at night or exactly. cave hiking? Or? Uh, you know what? If you get stuck out at night or if you've gone out too far and you realize, oh, I need to turn around, but you're not back to your car yet before the sun sets, it's that good to have that. That can get scary. Well, that's why you this have This is how you layout. follow the breadcrumbs. <laughs> right. Exactly. What else you got? Well, we have, let's see, you need to be in a need. Excuse me. It means to purify water. You should be bringing your own water with you. Uh, make sure you have enough for your out and back to make sure. What, you what do you mean, way. purify your own water? This what, is. This is in case you get lost, right? Well, if you're out there, if you run out of water. Have you ever got lost? 
Yes. <laughs> yeah. like, so, I'll admit it. So yes. long so you had to stay overnight unplanned? No, no, not at all. No, okay. No. So this is a That's water... That's a water purifier. And it's, how does it work? A, it looks scary. I'll show you. It's a SteriPen. Uh, you could carry the big pump, which I used to, but that just weighs too much. So this is much lighter. It's a SteriPen. Let's say you found a little water oh, source. Oh, is it UV light? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. Uh, so you found your water source, a stream, a little trickle off of a rock. I found some sketchy water sources in the past. Uh, fill it up, and then you hit this button, and then put it inside. I think my battery is probably dying. And you'll see a little happy face will come on. It'll count down to a minute and a half. Happy face means I've killed all the Galaria. It's, it's all killing that. killing all the Girardia and all the, the, the germs in there. You'll still have the floaties, but think of it as salad if you want, but <laughs> inside your water. <laughs> no? <laughs> you can think of it as salad, I guess. <laughs> can we move on to something let's else? Let's move on okay. now. <laughs> we have also, uh, let's put this away. You don't want to hit the trail without a map. And you may think, you know, I'm going on a trail. It's going to be marked. How can I possibly get lost? You'd be surprised that uh, you're walking on a trail up in the mountains and you're looking down and you think you're seeing a trail, but maybe you stepped off into an animal trail because often, you know, deer have a regular path. You maybe have gone off that way and before you know it, you're out there with, off the trail. So make sure you keep a map with you. And this is a map of trails. Well, that's, yes. Uh, there's different maps for wherever you're going. I think that's Ansel Adams Wilderness right it is. there. Um, so you make sure you have your map with you. And it's also a good reference point. If you stop and you think, I don't know where I am, you can look at the map and look and realize I mean, where you are in relation to the mountains, where you are in relation to water sources, and kind of reorient yourself. I have a hard enough one with freeways. <laughs> Imagine this one. Okay. Yes, and you actually do have to look at a map, Chuck. I know you're a guy, but you do have to look nah. at a map sometimes. Okay, what else? All right, we have this as an emergency on, blanket. I know, I'm right. sorry about okay, that. Okay, this is your emergency <laughs> blanket. Emergency blanket. In case Again, for emergency nap time. You could do that, right? Or, you, know, you actually could use this for several ways. It's a double wide emergency blanket. Um, and again, if you're stuck out there at nighttime, you want to make sure you're not going to have a sleeping bag in your day pack. But this is actually will keep you pretty warm if you're tucked out of the way of the wind and the rain and things. You could use it to signal the uh, reflective. Because it's mylar? Here. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. You could use it to collect water. There are a variety of things. Actually, when I'm camping, out of habit, whenever I set up my tent, I put this, I get my tent set up, put this in the ground. Uh, in the tent, and then I put my sleeping bag on top of it and wrap it on my feet because it reflects my body heat back up to me instead of just being sucked back down to the ground. So it's one of the little camping hacks that you get oh, to learn. Nice. Yeah. Um, I have a knife uh, with me as well, and I just always have a knife. That's my little. Oh, you know what? Do I That's have a knife? nice one, isn't it? Can I see my backpack again? Yeah. My okay. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. um, always, always have a knife with you because you just well, you can imagine what you would need the knife for. What's this knife has blood on it. It's probably my blood, actually. I'm not the most graceful person in the world. <laughs> Did I mention the tetanus shot before you go hiking? So, uh, this is actually one of the things that I will not go on the trail without. A breathalyzer. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> For that wine that you're carrying, right? No. Now, this is actually a two-way uh, communication device. On the one hand, one of the benefits of hiking is you get away from technology. You get away from your computer, the buzzing phone, the text messages. However, in the event that you change trails, in the event that something happens, I have the ability with this, this Delorm two-way in reach, to send a message, a text message via satellite to my family. Say, hey, you know, I've changed trails. Whoa, this is where I'm really? Be. Is this yes. So, so no matter you. where you're at, where in the world you, you are, you can send a text message saying, "Help, I'm lost." Exactly. I've fallen and I can't get up. It, right, li right. Yes, quite literally. Yes. Can you can you Facebook? No, um, you can send a message to. Facebook, but one of the beauty things, if I send a message to somebody, they can respond to me, but you're not getting emails on that. You're not surfing the web on that. It does have like social that. media on here. I can see that it yes. does. In fact, if you go on One Woman Adventure Along Nature's Path, the Facebook page, you'll see some of my Delorme uh, posts. Because I was just in Joshua Tree National Park this past weekend and sent a little you know, a message to my Facebook page. Hey, and I'm here in Joshua Tree. Or I sent it to my family. That's pretty that neat right there. Yeah. And you know, actually, this has come in handy. Uh, one time I was doing Whitney. I did a multiple day trip and went up and over the mountains, came up the Pacific Coast Trail. And then I was staged and ready the next morning to go up and over Whitney, but the clouds were coming and it was getting stormy. So I wanted to know, I didn't have access to the Weather Channel while I was there in my tent. So I was able to send a message to the director of the Whitney Zone, you know, hey, can you tell me what the weather's going to be like, what are my options, 
He went online wherever he was, checked, sent a message back to me. You're good to go. Gave me some options. Wow. So that kept me safe in there. Very, very cool. Yeah, exactly. I love it. And it's good to get little encouraging messages from my family on the trail along the way. You also want to have a first aid kit. This is just part of my first aid kit, but you don't want to get on the trail without a first aid kit. Things happen. You get scraped by branches. You get, uh, let's see. No. And, and this is this isn't too high tech. This is just a no, couple of Ziploc and baggies right. with mm -hmm. some uh, probably uh, antiseptic of some yep. sort, exactly. uh, some bug bite stuff, that, that kind of stuff, and some bandages. Ibuprofen in there. I have a ace bandage inside the backpack in there uh, as well. But you're right. You don't need my friends. I do have a much bigger first aid kit than my friends used to tease me that I could perform field surgery with. But again, a Rambo. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But my friends would all it weighs a lot. So I finally just gutted it and brought down the essentials there. What else you got in here? Oh, go ahead. Toilet the paper. Toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like that one. Let's, right. Can I? Is it okay? Let's can I get? Can I bring this stuff go out? Ahead. Oh, your, your Halloween candy. Right, right. right, right. There. Snacks. You want to make sure you have food a stuffed with you. animal just in Let case. Let me talk about this one actually oh, okay. for a second. Actually, this is this happens to be my daughter gave me a little stuffed animal a long time ago, but it has a bigger purpose than that. Just a stuffed animal. In the event that something goes completely sideways, you know, you're lost, you're hurt, you're stuck out there at night, you're going to be afraid. You know, and that's just human nature to be afraid out there. If any disaster happens, something horrible, regardless of whatever high-tech equipment you have, whatever great training you've had, the one thing that will get you through on back to your family, on off that mountain, is your heart. And so if that means holding on to something that reminds you of that incentive to get home. And for me, it's a reminder of my daughter. It could be a picture of your family. It could be anything, a special momentum you have. So that's kind of a reminder to keep on going. And right here, the rest of the first aid kit. The rest aid of the first aid kit, kit right? yes, okay. exactly. Uh -huh. All right. Very, yeah. very, very cool, Denise. I think, I, 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 I think it's very, very cool that you do this. And today you brought another giveaway with you. What did you bring today? I want you all to start out on the trail pretty safely as well. So I brought a, a backpack, a day pack for anyone who calls in, or for the first person, I should say, who calls in. This is from REI. Again, it's really lightweight. You can hold it and see Very nice. how lightweight it is. It's a flash pack. I could even carry this. See, exactly. <laughs> then, then and it matches, your, it matches your hair, too. <laughs> That's all funny. right. You know, uh, first so caller, 579-1360, you'll get that backpack from Denise Lanier, the one-woman adventure. <laughs> How's it going? Thank you so nice much, to have Scott. you on. Again, it's always so good to see you.